Chapter 1 A Visionary Family Cyrus Punava was born on August 26, 1945, into a family of visionaries in Pune, India. His father, Soli Punava, was a prominent horse breeder, and his mother, Willu Punava, was known for her philanthropic work. Growing up in an environment that valued education and social responsibility, young Cyrus was instilled with values that would shape his future. Chapter 2 A Passion for Horses From a young age, Cyrus developed a deep fascination with horses, largely influenced by his father's passion for horse breeding. He spent hours at his family's stud farm, observing, learning, and eventually becoming skilled in handling the majestic animals. This early exposure to the world of horses would play a significant role in shaping his future endeavors. Chapter 3 The Path of Education After completing his schooling in Pune, Cyrus went on to pursue higher education in Mumbai. He attended Brihan Maharashtra College of Commerce, where he earned his degree in commerce. This foundation in commerce and business laid the groundwork for his future ventures. Chapter 4 Venturing into Business Following his education, Cyrus decided to enter the business world. In 1966, he started his entrepreneurial journey by establishing Punava Stud Farms, building on his family's legacy in horse breeding. His dedication to breeding high-quality horses earned him recognition in the equestrian community, and his stud farm became one of India's most respected establishments. Chapter 5 The Turning Point In the early 1970s, Cyrus Punava experienced a turning point in his life when he recognized the urgent need for life-saving vaccines in India. At that time, vaccines were imported and often inaccessible to the majority of the population due to their high cost. This realization sparked a new vision for Cyrus, one that would change the landscape of healthcare in India. Chapter 6 Founding Serum Institute of India In 1966, Cyrus established the Serum Institute of India SII, with a mission to provide affordable and accessible vaccines to the masses. Starting with basic vaccines, SII soon expanded its capabilities and became a global player in vaccine production. Under Cyrus's leadership, SII became the largest vaccine manufacturer in the world, supplying vaccines to more than 170 countries. Chapter 7 A Pioneer in Vaccine Research Cyrus Punava's dedication to vaccine research and development led to groundbreaking discoveries. SII played a crucial role in the eradication of diseases such as diphtheria, tetanus, and measles in India. His pioneering work in developing the world's first affordable pneumococcal vaccine saved millions of lives worldwide. Chapter 8 Philanthropy and Social Initiatives Beyond his achievements in the business world, Cyrus Punava was deeply committed to philanthropy and social initiatives. He focused on improving healthcare, education, and welfare for the underprivileged in India. His generous contributions to various causes earned him numerous awards and accolades. Chapter 9 Honours and Recognition Cyrus Punava's exceptional contributions to public health and social welfare have not gone unnoticed. He received numerous awards and honours, including the Padma Shri, India's fourth highest civilian award, for his extraordinary contributions to the country. Chapter 10 Legacy and Continuity As Cyrus Punava's journey continues, he remains dedicated to the cause of public health. With his son, Ada Punava, poised to take over the reins of Serum Institute of India, the legacy of affordable vaccines and commitment to global health is set to carry on. Epilogue The Visionary's Impact Cyrus Punava's journey from a young horse enthusiast to a global leader in vaccine production stands as a testament to his vision, determination, and humanitarian spirit. His contributions have not only transformed the healthcare landscape in India but have also saved countless lives worldwide. The story of this visionary businessman and philanthropist serves as an inspiration to future generations, urging them to dream big and make a positive impact on the world.